Hi there, and welcome to another video of Coding with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forum is Andro, and today I'll be showing you how you can get started with coding your own array ops inside of Cables. So I'm going to click here, press Escape, and I'm going to type in Array Tester 7, because this video has taken a few takes today. I'm now going to click the Create button. Press Escape. I want to add the op to the patch. So I'm going to type in array tester seven. Add, you could call this op whatever you want to. So I'm going to click the op, press E, and this brings up the um, built in editor. I can delete this. So I want to be able to grab an array and I want to plug that in here and have it pass the output. That's it. So now I'm going to put this on increment mode. As we can see, the values of the array go from zero to nine. So let's click this, press E, and get started. I'm going to type const array in underscore one is equal to op dot in array. I'm going to name the port array in one, semicolon, control S. Great. So we've got this. I'm going to plug it in. I now need an output port. So I'm going to say const array out equals op dot out array. The name of the port out is array out, control S. Great. But we don't have anything yet. So now what I need to do is think a little bit ahead. Um, I want that whenever this array changes for a function to be run. So the control C, paste, and I'm going to type in on change equals function. Whoops, made a little typo there. Equals function. And I'm now going to make a variable. I'm going to call it ARR1, shorthand for array in one. So here I say create a variable of this name and get array one coming in and assign it to it. And now I'm going to say array out dot set r1, control s. And as you can now see, um, the array is coming through. If I'm going to change this to this from 0 to 0 0.9, this will also change to reflect the differences because we're using the on change call. Sorry, one moment, just lost it there. Okay, let's go back. And I'm going to put this back on 1, 2, 3, 4. So now let's just say that I want to do a mathematical operation on two arrays coming in. So first of all, I'm going to make an input put. I'm going to call it array in 2. Um, I then need to listen to that array uh, for a change. So I'm going to copy this, paste it. I'm going to say array 2 on change. So if array 1 or 2 coming in changes, run this function. And then I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to create another variable for the second array. Control S. So now I'm going to get this, and I'm going to put it on number 10. And what this means is this array is now just filled with all these values of 10. I'm going to copy paste it, and this one I'm going to put on increment from 0 to 9. And that would mean that when I add them both together, I'm going to get 10, 11, 12, and it should carry up to 19. So that's the basic goal right now. So first of all, I need to check that both arrays are plugged in. So I say if not array 1 or not array 2, I want to set the output, so that will be array out dot set to null. Nothing should come out because we're missing an array. And then I'm going to say return. And that means we're going to um, jump out of this function call. So, so far so good. If I click this, we have this. But if I now disconnect this one, as you can see, uh, we have no array, nothing. So that's good. Now we know that we have to have two arrays connected for it to work. So now I want to do some basic math on both arrays. So first of all, I'm going to go here, I'm going to type in const, I'm going to say um, math array equals type array. This is an uninitialized array. So after these two checks here, I want to say, okay, math array dot length equals zero. And then I want to say math array dot length equals array one dot length. 
And there's going to be a little problem with this in a minute, but I just want to show you um, how to approach this. So what we're doing is we're saying we've got an empty array, math array. Math array at length zero reinitializes the array, it just resets it. And then we make its uh, length the same as array one coming in. Control S. So now let's go here. I'm going to make a for loop. I'm going to say var i equals zero. If i is less than r1 dot length, then we increment i. Okay. So now say math array i equals r1 i plus r2 i. Control S. And now I want to set the output to math array. Control S. So let's take a look at this array. Again, a little refresher. It's filled only with values from 10. And this one has values from 0 to 9. And if we now check here, there we can see they've all been added together. So I wanted to show you a problem here. If I get this array and it's got a length of 10 and I put this in 6, what's going to happen? And I click here. We get 10 to 15. Okay, not too bad. But if I put this in 10 and I put this one in 6 and I click here, what's going to happen? We have null. So basically, when this one was shorter, it was okay because math array is following, um, it has the same length as array 1 and not array 2. But when array 2 was shorter, we've got null. So we've actually not got 10 values in our array because null is not truly a value for the math operations that we want to do. So what we can do now is we can say if array 1 dot length is not equal to array 2 dot length, then we're going to get the same code here. I'm going to say, set the array out to null and return. Control S. Oh, there we go. Um, so let's test this. So this has 10 values, this has 6, and we now have no output. If we now put this in 10, we click here, then we do have output. So just to um, summarize it, we first of all check, uh, do we have two arrays coming in? If we disconnect one of them, then nothing works. Great. Do both arrays coming in have the same length? Because uh, they need to have the same length for this function to work. If they don't, we set it to null and we return. Now, assuming those two checks are good, we reinitialize the math array length to zero, and then we set its length to the length of array one. And this is uh, perfectly valid because we know that these two arrays coming in have the same length. And then we iterate over um, the contents of array one and array two. We add them together, and we put them into the math array. That's the basics. Let's say I'd want to go a little bit further with this now, and I want to add like a switch for different modes. So I say const math mode select equals op dot in switch. So the name I'm going to call math mode. The first mode is going to be addition. Next one, subtraction. And the default mode when the op is created is going to be addition. Semicolon, control S. So we get this nice button here. So I also have to say when that changes, run the function. So I say math mode select dot unchange equals function. So if array one, array two, or the math mode selected changes, run this function. Control S. So now I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to say var math mode equals um, math mode select dot get. And that's going to return a string. And now I'm just going to go down here. I'm just going to move this in. I'm going to say if math mode equals plus run this code. Okay. And we also want to do it for subtraction. So just copy it and a paste. I'm going to say else if math mode equals subtraction. Then we do this one. Let's just type it 
it slap a touch. Okay. Control S. So these were filled with values of 10. This one from 0 to 9. So if we put this on plus, we get 10 to 19. And if we put it on subtract, we now get 10 to 1. So you could expand upon this and build in your own modes and um, conditions for certain things to happen and to occur. So this was a video on how to code your own array ops inside the cables. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.